All new at 11, a new report of dead farm animals in Louisville discovered by their owners. This time, what killed two donkeys? It is another mystery tonight. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Doug Profit. And I'm Lisa Hudson. Kentucky Fish and Wildlife investigators are on this case as Louisville Animal Control tries to solve what killed eight llamas. Robert Bradfield has more on what we know about both cases tonight. Well, we can also tell you here tonight that there is a noticeable difference on how the animals were left for dead. Louisville Metro Services is investigating the llama deaths while Kentucky Fish and Wildlife investigating how the donkeys died. Faganbush Lane in Louisville's Highview neighborhood of Jefferson County is home to the latest animal mystery. Two donkeys were found dead Sunday morning by their owner, but the cause of their deaths just as puzzling. A spokesperson for Kentucky Fish and Wildlife says a biologist examined the donkeys but was unable to pinpoint how they died, but says there was some scavenging on their carcasses. We've had the llamas out here for 20 years. We've never had an incident like this. Dale Hill lives about five miles from where the donkeys were found. Eight of his llamas were killed last week on his farm, which is actually in the city at the Waterson and Poplar Level Road. Louisville Metro Animal Services is looking into how they died, but Hill says a jogger told his wife he saw three stray dogs in the area around the time the llamas were found. One of them is being what he described as a shepherd husky mix and the other one is what he described as a boxer pit bull mix and then the third one he didn't get a good look at at all. Hill believes it was a pack of dogs that attacked his llamas because they didn't show any signs of being eaten. Last week the Bernheim forest director told us coyotes usually linger and consume their prey. Hill was thinking about getting donkeys, which are known to protect other livestock after the deaths of his llamas, but is now rethinking the idea after learning of the most recent attack. No, we can't have this happening again. Um, we care too much about the llamas. We don't want to let this happen. Now, Louisville Metro Animal Services may provide an update on the cases tomorrow. Kentucky Fish and Wildlife says the state's Department of Agriculture may be able to shed some light on the situation because of their experience with livestock. We do plan to check in with all of those agencies Tuesday for a follow-up. Robert Bradfield, 11 at 11.